Hello, everybody. This is a video on how to do um, your reason or first claim paragraph. It's going to be really similar to how to do your second claim also, and this is for both sixth and seventh grade. So um, once again, all the resources you need are in your um, packet. So remember that green means go ahead and write in it. Blue means directions or, or example so leave the blue boxes alone type in the blue in the green boxes okay so um notice it says c boxes 1a and 1b and the page is linked so that means go to slide 16 and i'm going to look at boxes 1a or 1b and basically i need to use a a, a a phrase to introduce my claim so i have a choice one reason a reason or the first reason so i'm just going to pick one reason I don't know. I like that one. So I'm going to literally write the words one reason. Now I noticed for some reason that um, the, the words in here were set to be in, um, to write in the middle. If they are, please correct that. Come up here. If you need to go to the three dots, you can and uh, have it go left justified, which means all the writing starts on the left. So now one reason, and here's the format. Introduce claim phrase, that's this one reason, then my thesis, then my reason. So I literally can come up here and take from my thesis if I want, or I can just retype. I'm going to be a little lazy and go one reason. One reason large mammals should not be in captivity. Now it says because, I should say is because, and then whatever my reason is. So let's say my first reason is... Um, they are af afraid of the dark. They're not. That's a silly explanation, but or a silly reason, but I'm just using that as an example so I don't steal any of yours. There you go. That's my first sentence. Okay. Now I need to go and see box four. So I'm going to go see box four. And this is to introduce evidence. So I'm going to pick something. So according to, I can say according to um, the job title, the research. I think most of you probably have research. You could just start with someone's job title, but again, I think you have research. If you have a study, you could start with in a in a 2011 study, whatever. I have research, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do according to. Okay, so I'm going to go back up. And I'm literally going to write. And again, it already preset for me to be blue for some reason, so I'm going to make it black. And I'm also going to bring it over here. So according to, and I'm going to go pull my, my, um, so that's my, here's the format, introduce evidence phrase. That's this. Now I'm going to go pull my evidence and then I'm going to do my source. So my first piece of evidence is this, according to, and I need to say world animal protection. If at, at all you're having problems like highlighting what you need, either make your slide smaller or just double click or double triple click to get what you need. So I'm going to copy and paste that. And then I'm going to say, according to, um, World Animal Protection. And then I'm going to put a comma before my quote because my quote is um, in the middle of a sentence now. So and then I'll go, boop. Um, oh, and now I see what's going on here. So if it does this, just delete extra space. And now the capital K here doesn't make any sense because now this is the beginning, the middle of the sentence, not the beginning. So I'm just going to delete it, make it small. Then um, you have two choices here. Okay. So because I chose to put my, my source right here, I could do this, but I need to go get the link so that I'm not, um, so I'm citing. You have two options or so I could do this. Or you could do this. Okay, I'm going to redo this whole thing and show you your two options. That's one way. Here's another way. So I could just do my quote. Keep it like it was. And then instead of ending in a period, I can put a comma. Oops, no, 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 that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> and, then, um, and then I'll just copy my URL. And period. So totally up to you um, how you do this. Okay. Uh, you have an option here. All right.
Okay. So pick one of those. So you either put the um, put the the source in front, and maybe have to change how the sentence starts, or you put the source in the back. Okay. All right. Now, then see box five. So I'm going to go slide sixteen. And box five is to introduce reasoning. Well, reasoning is where you explain your reasoning of why this quote defends what you're saying. Okay. So the phrase is introduce reason phrase and then your reason. Ba, ba, ba. I didn't really look at that. So I could say, you literally could say, so you could say, therefore, this means it stands to reason or this suggests. So let's see. Let's see what makes the most sense. So this is talking about how uh, keeping animals in captivity causes physiological harm. So I'm going to go, and again, I have to change this to not be black and I need it to go over here. So I'm going to say this suggests, I don't need to say this quote, I guess I can, but I've already given a quote. My reader is going to read the quote and then read this sentence. So I don't need to say the word quote necessarily. Okay. So this suggests that large mammals are suffering when they are in captivity. All right. Now I need to make my writing blue. My reason needs to be blue. Okay. Oh, and also shame on me. My evidence up here needs to be green. It seems like a lot of work, but trust me, it's worth it. It'll help you later. So make that evidence green. And um, okay. Okay. Now, last sentence and box in this paragraph is go to box six on slide 17. So slide six. Okay. So now for both sixth and seventh grade, you are introducing a similar argument. Let me just double check that's correct before I move on. Yeah, it is. Okay. So you're going to pull something off of box six. So along with there are many other reasons to believe other problems or issues include or also two additionally. Okay. Now, some of these are sentences and some of these are stems. Okay. And that only matters in that, in how you put it together when you glue, when you uh, cut and paste it all together. So I'm going to go with, uh, there are many more reasons to think. Just to like, what, uh, uh, uh. okay. So start with writing, uh, change it to black, change it to over on the left hand side. Okay. So there are, Many other reasons to think. To think what? To think that. Go back to your thesis. Lar putting large mammals in captivity is cruel, right? Keep that. To think that keeping large mammals in captivity is cruel. Okay. This is now one, two, three, four sentences, which is, you know, kind of small but it's a, actually a very help, useful, strong first body paragraph. So first body paragraph, it's actually your second paragraph because remember the hook and the claim thesis will be your first. So that's what you do for your first reason or claim. Okay. All right. Bye.